I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Children, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Dublin D, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 5 of our Pokemon Unite series here, and uh, today, we are going to be running with Krussel, um, obviously wanted to get him and Cinderace done before their uh, rotation was ended again, I don't know when this time rotation ends, I'm sure there's somewhere I can see that. But I haven't looked it up yet. Um, so here we have the attacks here. So we have Rock Slide, which drops large rocks on the designated area when this move hits. And those damage to opposing Pokemon in the AoE and leaves them unable to act. So so it stuns them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, Rock Tomb <coughs> splits open the ground toward the designated area, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon area. Okay. And creating a barricade of rock. If used again, it gets rid of the barricade. And when you, when you upgrade, it decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon for a short time, so it can slow as well. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then if we look at the Shell Smash, it's a buff. Has the user smash its wall, converting a set of percentage of defense and special defense into attack and special attack, and increasing the user's movement speed for a short period of time. So, <clears throat> it's, it's, just like, it's just like the Pokemon game, you know? Raising your offensive stats, lowering your defensive stats. Interesting. Because he is a tank as well. So that could be kind of dangerous, but that could be really good as well. We'll see. Uh, next, we have Fury Cutter. Slash the opposing Pokemon with claws dealing damage to them. Hitting the same opposing Pokemon multiple times. In succession, will increase the move's attack. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then we have Stealth Rock. Throws many small rocks. This is an AoE attack. When a rock hits an opposing Pokemon and when the rocks have flown their full distance, a zone of many levitating rocks is created, dealing slowly increasing damage over time to opposing Pokemon in the AoE. On increase, it won't let me scroll down. Oh, there we go. Uh, upgrade increases the duration of this move's effect and decreases the movement speed of opposing Pokemon. So it's another slow. That's an AoE slow. And then we have X Scissor. Has the user dash forward with crossed claws, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon multiple times and shoving them. These opposing Pokemon unable to act if they hit an object when shoved. Okay. Reduces this move's cooldown. So you could use X Scissor when shoving them. Um, let me let me look up here again. Rock Tomb makes a uh, barricade, right? So you could use Rock Tomb and X Scissor, and you can make your own uh, obstacle, a, a barricade, and you can actually push them into it and stun them with X Scissor. So that's a cool combo. Uh, you could also go like Shell Smash and X Scissor for the damage, or you could do Rock Tomb and Stealth Rock to create all kinds of uh, like CC and uh, AOE shenanigans. Okay. Seems interesting. It's Unite move, Rubble Rouser. It's a buff attack. Grants the user a shield for a short time and leaves nearby opposing Pokemon stunned, unable to act, dealing them damage over time. And it puts a dot on them. Wow. If the. Well. I guess not, it's not like a dot. So it's more like. A, almost like a Sunfire Cape in League of Legends. You're burning them as you're near them, I think. I think that's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that uh, what that means. If these receives damage while this move is in effect, the move deals additional hits to nearby opposing Pokemon. Okay, cool. And then sturdy. Every time the Pokemon loses a certain amount of HP, its defense and special defense are increased. Oh, okay. So that means with sturdy, um, the less HP you have, the more damage you would do a Shell Smash. Obviously, though, with the lower amount of HP. You can easily be knocked out, but you can also just do a tremendous amount of damage. That's interesting. Kind of reminds me of Old Olaf from League of Legends. Basic attack, because a boosted attack with every third attack, when this was attack hits, it deals damage to opposing Pokemon in an AoE and increases their movement speed for a short period of time. Okay, so Crustle seems pretty good. I, I, I kind of like him. I kind of like him. Alright, so we're going to try Crustle out today. Let's jump into a battle here. Probably won't do any ranked battles with Crustle. We'll see how I feel after I uh, after I play with them, though. Let's jump right in. Also, if you missed last episode, we played as Gengar. It was a lot of fun. I really like Gengar, guys. I really like Gengar. I haven't played any since that last episode. Actually, I just got done eating dinner, so now I'm going to record this. 
Um, probably gonna play with some friends after this video though. In fact, someone's typing in Discord right now as we speak. Okay, so we're gonna play as Crustle here. Battle prep, we want. Oh, by the way, I leveled up Muscle Band and Leftovers both to level 5 in between episodes. Alright, let's do it! So this should be fun. I'm not sure which route I'm going to go yet, by the way. I will play a couple different styles, though, right, throughout the video, kind of like we do with Gengar. I kind of like that, kind of like maybe exploring uh, some of these other attacks instead of just being set in one way. Because I do think as, like, the meta shapes up and as I get more uh, involved in this game, I'm going to have different movesets depending on who I'm going against in the uh, opposing team, right? For now, I don't really know, like, what everyone does exactly still, because <laughs> I haven't played them all. Um, I'm more of a guy that I can read the stuff, but... I'm better understanding once I've actually played the character, because then I'll be like in my mind I'll, I'll remember uh, easier and better what they actually do. If that makes sense. Here we go, boys. We're a cute little dwebble. Uh, let's go uh, rock slide first. Okay, so we got a lot. The chops might be jungling. I'm gonna go up top, I guess. Or am I jungle? Looks like I'm jungle. That's fine. I'll jungle. That's cool. No problem for me. I didn't mean to attack Ludicolo there. It's actually smart. I just finished the advanced tutorial stuff. It's actually smart to get this guy first, I think, because you do additional damage to minions with his buff. It's not something I knew, if I'm being honest. Alright, I think I kind of want to go double AoE. So that might be what we do this game. So there's the barricade, okay. That could be kind of dangerous. So now we have Nine Tails' buff. It looks like everyone's fine so far. Keep an eye on the mini map. And I can hit him through the wall, which is interesting. Coming in hot. It's a good way to keep them away from the, uh, from the post here. I think I got him. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go Stealth Rock and Rock Tomb. That might be a bit much and maybe a bad idea, but I wanted to try it out. Let me help down here. Got him. Well, I'm full. I can't. He's not gonna let me score. Hopefully, one of my teammates grabs some of these. I gotta heal up. You think for one minute that I'm scared of you, Mr. Ivysaur? You got another damn thing coming, Bobby. Alright, I gotta score real quick. Alright. 
that he picked him up perfect. Coming for the Rodham. I'm liking Ro uh, not Rodham. I'm liking Crustle uh, at the moment. Does seem like a lot of fun to play. I threw my stealth rocks away though, which is kind of annoying. I do kind of wish I had a like a different offensive attack as well. I'm sure that pisses my teammate off. They're like, "What are you doing, dude?" So I think the uh, X scissor might be the move I want. What's some of this? Come on, buddy. Come on over here, buddy. I might die here, but I might be able to get him. We traded. Perfect. The uh, Stealth Rocks got him. A lot of uh, resources here, though. So yeah, we'll definitely try something else in the next game. But I think I want X Scissor for sure. I don't know if I like Rock Tomb a lot. I like Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock's pretty cool. Yeah, jump right onto it, buddy. He actually might give me here. <laughs> Just can't let's use my ult. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake, boys. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, oh yeah, I can get this. I'm gonna help my teammate. And I'm like, wait, we're both super low. <laughs> this is a bad idea. So we're going to hit that super jump up. Best spot to be in. Yeah, I, d I definitely don't like uh, Rock Tomb at all. I like Stealth Rocks, don't like Rock Tomb. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's things you could do with it, and I'm just not quite doing it right. But I'm just I'm not digging it. It's a good defensive tool to keep them away from the uh, from the goal there, but, but like he can shoot through it and stuff. Like it should at least be able to block shots, you would think. Heal up real quick. We're struggling? I thought we were winning. Why'd I do that? No, I didn't mean to do this. Hey, compete this up, my champ. Keep pushing. 
fishing up for some reason. I don't need to. How do I cancel? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I just wanted to score real quick. Should help my teammates out, maybe in the middle. Yeah, we definitely lose this one. I'm partially to blame though, because I'm not. We had a great beginning with the jungle and got a, got a couple good, like easy early kills. But uh, not doing very good with the uh, rock tomb. It's kind of uh, not been great. We do have 21 points, but he's level 15. My God, bro. What are you doing? We're dead. Damn it. Yeah, we'll definitely try something different next game. I don't. Is Stealth Rock. I mean, is Rock Tomb. replaced by, uh. Excisor or Shell Smash. Yeah, that was a pretty bad game. Right, so we had a good beginning. Their Cinderace just got really strong too. He started snowballing there a little bit. I got the highest score on our team, and their Cinderace had the highest. Yeah, you could definitely tell like Cinderace was definitely doing a lot better than than the uh, other members of his team for sure. Okay, that's fine. Let's jump in again. This time we'll try a different moveset with Crustle here. We could do Shell Smash and uh, X Scissor. Do you guys want to try that? A more offensive build. Let's see. You know, I could use X attack as well to even increase our damage even more. I've never used X attack yet. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to go Shell Smash and X Scissor, and we're going to go ahead and use X attack on top of all of that. So we're going to be more of a... Less of a tank. We're going to be more of a glass cannon, I think. And then after that, we'll try uh, X Scissor with either uh, Rock Tomb or uh, Stealth Rock. Because I'm not sure which one it replaces. I mean, I guess I'll, be, I'll, I'll find out this game. I'll pay attention. Alright. About to hop in here in two seconds. I forgot to grab a drink on my way in. That's unfortunate. Sorry, right, I'll survive. Next episode, I will try Cinderace. Since he's the last, like, uh, rotating Pokemon that I uh, haven't tried yet. Granted, I'll get him in, like, six days or whatever, but still. Want to try him out at least once? It's a Rock Slide. Yeah, I'm assuming Rock Slide is the one that, uh... Transforms in a rock tomb. So I think you can have rock tomb and X scissor then, okay. That makes sense, because then you can like push them into your wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna lane with uh score bunny here. A 
but still they're odd enough. So we're going shell smash. Heal up a little bit. Yeah, if I take that one, I'll take this one. Oh, Zerazor is coming. Take that, thank you. Let's go. No, we're taking this, thank you. Oh, X's is kind of sick. Has a long cooldown though, okay. That is something to keep in mind. Oh no, come get me Charmander, I'm scared. I was hoping to bait him in there. so much damage. Oh my god. Did so much damage to him. Alright, so we broke that. Shell Smash does give us quite a bit of mobility. Alright, I'm gonna try to recall here. Alright. So I'm gonna hit top. Excuse would have got off cooldown a second sooner. I would have got him. I have my ult too. I could have used. I should have. I didn't realize I had it yet. If I'm being honest. So big misplay for me. I could have killed him. That's alright. We got a couple there. Cause did we get the? Did we got their Pikachu too, right? Was that our Pikachu? Do they even have a Pikachu? I don't even know. I guess I got more luck. They don't have a Pikachu, confirmed. They have a Slowpoke who's not playing. Okay, so they're missing a player. Okay. I was wondering what was going on bottom. I was like, he's been by himself for quite a while. But I don't know if there was three uh, tops, some jungling going on. I had no idea. I'm coming, friend. Just trying to close the gap on that Charmeleon. Probably has his ult up, I'm gonna guess. That's highly unfortunate. Damn it. We both 
both use our alts. If I didn't miss that X X's around him earlier in the f uh, fight, there would have got him. A little bit of a lag spike there. It's not a lot, but everything adds up. I'm gonna die here. I'm trying to run away. Uh, 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 I gotta go. I should have picked up the uh, orbs as well off of, uh, I think it was Charmeleon or Charizard. Gonna try to see race because he's the DPS. I'll try to run away, but I waited a little too long. I think we're winning, though. I'm not sure. It may be a very close game, but I feel like we're winning. It is a close battle. Okay, I can confirm. Oh, did I not went away? That's after I did my attack there. I guess he disappears when Zapdos is on the board. I guess that makes sense. Didn't realize that though. Seismic Toss. Well, you better run, Twizzler. Whoops. I kind of do like Shell Smash, by the way. The fact that it speeds you up and stuff is really nice. Fairy Cut, or I mean, Fairy Cut. Exeter's okay. It's real easy to miss, though. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Thanks for the help, Cinderace. But, uh, your boy's gotta go. I'm just gonna heal up. Or, yeah. Return to base, heal up. Come back. I'm about to be game over. I think we win. Oh, no! No! I messed up. I didn't see Snorlax there. Shoot. If we lose by, like, 48 points or whatever. Okay, whew, whew, I would have been so sad then. <laughs> I saw him as soon as I started launching him, I go, no, I could have stopped him from scoring. Alright, so that was a fun one. Oh, I didn't see uh, how we did. We didn't get MVP or Cinderace. Cinderace was pretty good. Give him bronze for that. I will do one more battle here, guys. Uh, so this time, hmm. I guess we'll go uh, Rock Tomb and X Scissor this time around. Although I really enjoyed uh, Shell Smash, 
But I don't know if you would go Shell Smash and Rock Tomb. I don't know if that's a, a good idea or not. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, we have X attack still. Let me edit that out for potion. Excuse me. Just waiting for uh, one of our teammates to ready up here, but he's not. It's fine. I will uh, play some Dokkan Battle while I wait, I guess. Grind in some Winks. As we wait. Alright. So they have a Cinderace, okay. Fury Cutter here. I guess uh, I'll jungle. That's fine. We'll start up here. Oh, it's not up yet. Oh, no, he's up. No, it's not looting. Uh, we don't want that one first. We want the red buff. Again, red buff does more damage to minions. The blue buff, I think think either decreases movement speed when we attack somebody I can actually check because I forget I just I just did the advanced tutor uh, tutorial like I don't know, a couple hours ago oh you're gonna counter jungle that's a brave Pikachu my friend all right so we're gonna go rock to or yeah rock to this time around so this buff uh, when this, yeah, when this Pokemon attacks it, they decrease the opposing Pokemon's movement speed. Yeah. Rock Tomb, I shouldn't have rocked him. I was hoping to do enough damage to kill him. Let me see something real quick. If I. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, I can't. Okay. I see now. I gotta. I gotta. Instead of quick aim, I gotta actually manually do that if I wanna get some good value out of this. That wasn't the way, by the way, that I wanted to do that. There we go. Now we're talking turkey, baby. Now we're talking turkey, baby. Let's go. That was pretty good. I'm going to steal the citrus berry here. I'm a little slow. There is no escape, bucko. There is no escape. All right, now, okay, now that I got the wall thing down a little bit better... Alright, we're gonna move down bottom here, help uh, our Zera Aura. I can also look at the map better if I do this too. I haven't, I haven't really been utilizing this, but that will help. Oh boy. Probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing here. Potion this time. There we go. Got the JLB done there. I'm just gonna go ahead and recall. I 
think I might hit up the jungle real fast. my teammate but they survived coming back don't know if I like this the wall up let's nice jump in boys Good work. And welcome to the slam. guys we need a little bit of extra time to get that X scissor baby let's go also I'm gonna ult up I could have utilized I was ready I was ready didn't think we needed it though it was close though I'm gonna grab some citrus berries here coming up my team oh boy oh boy I didn't probably didn't need these mall, but better safe than sorry. I messed up the rock tomb by the way, and I'm gonna pretend I didn't because I definitely did. Oh, potion. We're dead, we're dead. Fuck. If we had our ult there, maybe been able to survive. But since I had to use my ult there because I messed up my uh my rock tomb. Sorry. I still think we're winning. Um by a pretty good margin, actually, because we have two of their uh, goals down. Alright. I got one of our goals down now. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad, Charizard. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh. Fuck. He was almost dead. My ex scissor was on cooldown. But I bought some time so they couldn't score there at least. It's alright. That ex scissor has a long cooldown, you know? I'm gonna go in the jungle for a little bit. Eight second cooldown is quite a long time. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Shoot. He's ulting me. Oh, 
trying to make sure he can't get away. That's what that wall is for. I promise you that was done purposely. Maybe a little bit further than I wanted to, but... Zapdos? Would it probably Zapdos here? At this point, they're pretty much screwed. I mean, we all have like 50 points. That's gone. Oh, I didn't realize this wasn't gone over here. I thought it was. See you later, sucker. I'm gonna go over here. How much, uh. It's really. I hate using this to look at the map. It's kind of weird. But I guess on console, it's always gonna be that kind of weird. Because on PC, like, being able to just, like, click where you wanna go on the map is so much better. Three, two, for, like, League of Legends and stuff. It feels, it feels so much better that way. Alright, I'm pretty sure we won that. Yeah, 624 to 255. Pretty strong win there. Uh, let's see how we did. I feel pretty good about that game. I uh, could have maybe done a little bit better with the Rock Tombs. But now that I know that I can kind of aim it further away, we got MVP. We got MVP. I was I felt pretty good about that game. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. So, uh, Cross was a lot of fun. He's got a lot of utility. I don't know how I feel about Rock Tomb. I mean, if you get better at it, obviously, if you get really good with Rock Tomb, um, it can be very devastating. You know, make it to where they're basically trapped with you and your team. Uh, being able to separate their teams, uh, team up a little bit in battles can be very helpful. Um, he's obviously a, a tank, a solid tank. I did enjoy, like, uh, playing him with the Shell Smash as well. Being able to move around a little bit faster, maybe doing a little bit more damage with the X attack as well. Uh, Krustle's fun, man. I do like him. I definitely like Krustle a lot. Um, two wins, one loss, and that one loss was pretty bad. I did really bad that game. But this game, we made up for it. We got MVP after a couple games with him. Feeling pretty good about that. Alright, well, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm the Mevermore Daniels. Bidding you farewell. Peace and one love. Bye!